Where? Where am I? Why? God. Why? Adam! Adam! Why are you stalking us? Is this about Adam's work? What do you want from us? Why are you tormenting my family? No! Adam! Oh, no. No, what have you done to Adam? Oh, God. War calls for casualties. No, there is no war. We're just... A, we're just a regular family. You hear me? We just wanted to live our life. And you ruined everything. Pictures, bugs, threats. And now you've killed them. Stay away! Don't! They already know about you. They've been watching the house. They won't let you. Hush. No! What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm sitting. of the past. President Carter had commented on the Russian threat that we I have. It will be but it was you who kept saying you'd like to get away from the city. Feel the call of the wild. For the weekend, honey. Not for the rest of our lives. <laughs> who says it's for the rest of our lives? Really, Emma? We don't know the day or the hour. Oh, very funny. Like we don't hear enough about nuclear threats in the media. What I'm talking about. If I don't break the code, this country would be like a basket full of nuclear mushrooms. Adam, stop it. But then again, maybe this shack will fall down on us before Brezhnev's boys launch their first missiles. It's no shack. It's a present from your parents, and you should appreciate it. Take a look! Oh, it looks even better than the photos. Well, our stuff made it here before us. And those lazy movers didn't even bother waiting for us. That's okay. We can bring it all in ourselves. Yeah, meaning I toil away while you give orders from the shower. <laughs> Three hour drive and we're finally here. The place seems peaceful and quiet. Maybe it'll help me to focus on those damn telegrams to decipher. Honey, don't just stand there. Those boxes won't carry themselves in. Update. The place seems peaceful and quiet until Emma showed up. Gotta get those boxes in. I should put the box on a table upstairs.
box is where it should be. Time to paint the walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. You've got to be kidding me. Fuck. Um, the baby hears everything, even in the womb. So we will make a great agent, just like Dad. Honey, I can't get in the goddamn attic without a key. Check the dining room. It should be in a drawer. As if there was one drawer. Nope, nothing in here. I can't find it in the dining room. Oh, sorry. I, I guess I didn't get it from the trunk. Ah, oh, typical.
Damn it. Hmm, what's that? A loose plank. Someone's hidden something under the floor. What could it be? A treasure? Hope it's not Great Grandpa's porn mags. <laughs> I'd have to be a goddamn code breaker to... Wait, isn't that what I do for a living? I have to break the cipher to open the box. This device will help me decode the letters in the text. Property of Nicholas. It is September 27th in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening. It is September 27th in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening. Almost night. Never before have I kept a diary, but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought, makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. I'm home again after ten years' absence. I'm relieved to find the house unscathed. That's good. It's the only roof I have over my head for now. I should light some candles and take a look around. No trace of my father. Did I honestly think he would welcome me at the door? He vanished a decade ago, without so much as leaving a letter. The house feels strange, even though it has not changed one bit. There are fears creeping out of the darkness whose source I cannot define. But memories will come back. That's what they told me. Maybe then I will realize what happened to my father. And what happened to me.
It's dark in here. I'll light the candles. still too dark. I need to light more candles. Stairs. What could it be? I thought the window was bolted shut. Ah! Hey, what are you doing here? This is private property.
Where the hell did he go? Hey! You still here? I'd better take a look. He pointed at the shed. Maybe I can find something in there. The light is coming from the inside, but the door's locked? Maybe I can find something to cut through the chain. Is some kind of clue for me? I should look into it. What the hell is this? yourself in? Hey, are you deaf? I'm talking to you. <laughs> huh? Am I going mad? What in heaven's name is going on? If I tell anyone about this, I'll end up in an asylum. Where did all this blood come from? Dear God.
Maybe there's another way in. Maybe there's something in my briefcase that would help get it open. I have to get in there. Whatever happened, I hope it's not my father's blood. Am I delusional? to get rid of them before I leave the basement. He's upstairs. What does he want from me? Has someone gone through my briefcase? Damn it, someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. Strange. I was in the attic and... I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Honey, you won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma? Can you hear me? Emma? I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary. W what A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement, and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? What's her problem? She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. Only the flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe I can find one in the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. Sick. 
<sighs> this horse will haunt me in my dreams. Where are the fuses? Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Maybe there's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. Clear mountain spring. The water must be ice cold. Is here, of course. What the f what is this? Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? Shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Emma? Honey? Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Wait, what did they say in training? Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who is here in a different time. should follow the localizer. Green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. This is the place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, then I need to scan it. The signal must be coming from this place. 
Now I just have to use the scanner on this cloud. The localizer found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. The fuse is missing, some clothes are lying all covered in blood, and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible, otherwise I won't see a thing. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. But I did it. Clearly someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. from here. So much blood and it's not even dry yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. Clearly drag something heavy through that gate. Damn, the gate is closed. I need to look for a way around. The planks are loose. I'll try to break them out. blood hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. closed. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... <laughs> Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. I'd better check what the localizers detected before I go in.
Who is he? What did he hide here? A hunting knife. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it, just in case. Time to go back to the bar. Maybe I can find a side entrance. I need to try to get inside. This. this wasn't just some poacher, more like a fucking sadistic hunter. Wait, that beeping. It's as if it's coming from the inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. I could use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up. I should cut down the deer. This is sick. I think I'm gonna puke. What's all this equipment? And why was it in... Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there's the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. 
in our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got a goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. I remember back in the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult, but I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. But clearly the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. Power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much poll. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. And it's only the third month. What's it gonna be like by the ninth? Boom! <laughs> Jesus, woman! You want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? Where do we start? Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Uh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition... It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. If I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? No. And did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. Ugh. Gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, cryptanalysis? I mean, before you joined the CIA? Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back? Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone? Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? What are you staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. Now I regret putting that thing on my head. 
I wonder who that guy was. Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, you'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. I'd hang you first. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy, you're going to the basement. That's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous century. from the office. Hello? It's David. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now, so I thought... Maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams. What happened? I don't know. Stress. He's been paranoid lately. Seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck! On our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. There goes my vacation. The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. President Carter's speech, entitled Crisis of Identity, was concluded with a reflection concerning the Soviets. Their most powerful weapon is not the atom bomb but a unique capacity to drive other nations into madness and chaos. Carter believes that at this stage of the Cold War, our nation needs unity more than anything else, because our enemy's only chance is in making Americans doubt their government and all the values that this country has been built upon. In other news, the St. Louis Cardinals won yesterday's game at the Memorial Stadium.
So, how do I do it again? First, let's take a look at the manual. Open the cover and place the cylinders. Easy. I need to take the right cylinders from the table. Luckily, they're numbered. I need to remember that each cylinder goes into a specific position. Okay, the first part's done. Now it's time to set the cogs. Piece of cake. Now for the last step, the wires at the bottom. Right, now I just have to plug that in using the right order. That's it. Now I just need to enter the password. I have to be careful. If I click the wrong letters, I'll have to reset the cogs. Okay, it works. I can get down to it. What's this? It looks like a message encrypted with an enigma. Maybe with the right combination I'll be able to decipher it. Now how do I set it up? A Roman 5-3-S-T. This must be a clue for the encrypted message. What does it mean though? And how can I use it to set Enigma up? Maybe that person used my code table to encrypt the message. How can I guess which combination was used?
Roman 5, 3, ST. The hints from this piece of paper surely have something to do with the machine. Maybe the code table will tell me more. no one but yourself. Sounds ominous. Who wrote this anyway? Now what? Check combinations 29 and 30. So? Still nothing. Fuck. This terrible crime shocked. Fuck. This looks like our house. The victim's throat was slashed? This is getting too fucked up. Seriously. God, how long has this been here? Is this... blood? Or just rust? Is this what I think it is? More notes from Nicholas. It hurts, so I must be alive. Damn it, I almost... Is he the one responsible for my father's disappearance? What if they're... in the basement? No. I'd rather not think of whose blood that was. <sighs> my head... You can't come in here! Hear me, you snot! You're not allowed here! with me. They said it wouldn't happen again. They promised, dear. God, what happened? Looks like a hurricane went through here.
damn it! I feel like this house is trying to kill me. Just in case. I'd rather not kill anyone. Without ammo, it won't be much help. Time to go to the basement and see what's behind that door. No, it can't be happening. It can't be true. Why do they say I'm safe now if it's coming back? I should be able to get into another room from here.
There must be another way. This is real. The blood. The metal rod. These are no phantoms. I haven't lost my mind. Not this time. The cog. Hopefully it will fit the mechanism. It looks like one of those abominations that the judges wear on their heads. There was a judge that used to come to our house. What was his name? Norton. Wait a minute. It is him. It was his death that was covered up in that newspaper. How was that possible? And the other man? The one in the hat. He locked up the judge. So maybe he did the same to my father. I'll retrace their steps. Maybe I can find out something about my father's disappearance. And about all the other missing people. A crank. Maybe I could use it to open the door. Won't budge. How in the world did he get away? How in the world did they get out if... Judge is bleeding heavily. He will look for help. Go to the inn. I thought it had been closed many years ago. Must have no. Stay away. Don't come any closer. Don't make me do this. But he did nothing. He let him do it all. What? He's vanished into thin air. Only keep him away for a while.
Again, how do I get rid of him? What do you want?
I heard them. Oh, it's happening again. It can't be. Like father, like son, it is you that should have died then. <laughs> What? How in the hell? Keys in a diary from over a century ago. Fucking hell, but... It's impossible. I don't know how, but it worked. Maybe if I find the other pages from the diary, if those telegrams are ever gonna be decoded, I have to take every chance. I'll notify David. This will blow his mind. I've made more progress than his entire team has in months. How in the world did they track me down so quickly in this shithole? Fuck me. Maybe they did get Harold after all. Thankfully I can check where they're tracking me from. If I'm not wrong, the detector should be in the office. Are you trying to kill me again? I don't want to sound hysterical, but I saw someone. W what are you talking about? Someone's here, in front of the house. But maybe it's someone from the office? You know, about work? David would tell me. Son of a bitch, it's all so clear now. Y you don't think that... I do. They want to get us, so nothing would surprise me. A, a few days ago, someone was hanging around here, too. I, I caught a glimpse of him behind the trees. And you didn't think it was worth mentioning? Uh, it might as well have been my imagination. I didn't want to spread panic. We've got enough to worry about as it is. Fuck Emma! I don't work in a bakery. I work for fucking spies. It's not like we can just go to a mountain cabin and be safe. Stay in the house, lock the doors and windows. I'll take care of this. I should use the localizer and see if I can find something nearby.
That fucking bastard is so confident that he approached the house to spy on us. Maybe if I can find more traces. The signal is very clear. The quantum cloud should be right around here. The lines are coming together. We're close to the source now. got it all well organized. You won't lose me so easily, you bastard! Stop! Hear me? but you can't hide! Chasing a spy through a cave. Fuck, what would have been a joke a week ago is not reality. Wait a minute. It's him.
Doesn't seem too stable. It's ancient, but maybe the blade is still sharp. I need to get to the other side, but how? go through here. Another signal. Close, I can feel it.
slip through here. Time to suck in my gut. Doesn't seem too stable, but maybe I can get to the other side. Fuck, I'm not as fit as I used to be. Hit something in the feeder. Oh good, I've lost him. I'm at the ruined inn. Everything's going according to plan. The inn. Thanks for the tip, dickhead. What do we have here? An old tent, some abandoned stuff? Looks like someone just left it all and never came back. But why? That mine shaft looks deep. If I had something that would enable me to climb down it, maybe it'd lead to the inn. I could try to go down this way, but first I need a stronger rope. Mine is definitely too flimsy. I saw a tent on my way here. Maybe I can find something inside. I should check the nearby tent.
There's a backpack hanging in that tree. I'll try to shake it down with something. Well, I could go through here. How long has this poor guy been hanging here? Strange that no one came looking for him. He must have fallen off that poor guy. The backpack is hanging loosely. I think I could knock it off with a stone. I saw a backpack on the rock by the tent. It's worth checking. This will certainly come in handy. This looks like ruins of some big building. What could have happened here? What the hell is he up to? Where did he go? Who is he? What did he hide here? I need to turn that safe around somehow if I want to reach it. I can't move it with my bare hands. I 
States, but you gotta be careful. this place anyway what's in this damn safe how do I open it maybe I can find something in this room It's locked from the other side. It looks like someone noted the combination to the lock here. Which numbers do I need, though? supposed to make anything out of it. There, finally. The judge tried to strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for... Christ, I can't do it on my own. There's so much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. C go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press on the wound. I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Easy. Don't try to get up. Good Lord. No one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again. There he is. Looks like that missing fellow. The detective showed guests his dagger type. Detective? You mean that nosy fop Walter Gilman? Holy mother of God! I have to telegraph the sheriff. No, this man needs a doctor. Uh, I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. 
I'm sorry, son. These voices... There's so many of them. Wait, wait. I, I think I've heard this conversation before. Those people, they said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. If he was interested in missing people from the area, he might know something about my father's disappearance as well. Maybe at the reception desk I can find out his room. It was the janitor who usually kept the reception keys in room 207. 